Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the Cena SR10. Now, the SR10 falls within the Cena family. You may know Cena from the SMH10, which is their really, really well designed Bluetooth communicator that lives on your helmet. What the Cena does that's very different is the Cena is going to allow you to use your two-way radio on your bike. If you're one of those two-way radio guys that's on a touring bike that likes the flexibility and distance of a system that's really a, a large-scale walkie-talkie, which is going to give you the increased range, the increased ability to go 10 to 20 people sometimes, what the Cena SR10 does is it allows you to link that walkie-talkie, that two-way communicator technology that you may already be using, and link it with your Bluetooth system. So if you are using a Cena SMH10 on your helmet, a car system on your helmet, an interphone on your helmet. What this SR10 does is you would plug in via this mini DIN connector here in the bottom to your two-way radio unit and then this unit will pair with your Bluetooth communicator that's built into your helmet. So what you could do is then you're mounting this somewhere on your bike, either the unit itself or the, wire, or the wired uh, push to talk button. And what you can then do is when you have your, your helmet or your Bluetooth communicator set on the channel that's using the SRT10, you now can hands-free push to talk and use that two-way radio without being wired up to it. So that in a nutshell is really why this is a game changer technology. There are similar devices on the market that are six, seven hundred bucks. This guy's going to be sub two hundred dollars. And I will note too that the SR10 got Web Bike World's um, Product of the Year 2011 just for the fact that it's a leap forward in technology. It's reasonably priced and it's really, really functional. So let's walk through the unit a little bit further now. We're going to pull open the box. We'll show you everything that comes with it. But let's start from a need to know standpoint of when you're purchasing this, what you really, what are the deal breakers here? The first one is, is this is built to work with a two-way radio communicator technology. It's going to work with Kenwood, with Motorola one or two pin connector, with Yasu, with Icom, and with Midland. And how that's going to work is you're going to purchase this unit for that sub $200 price point, but then you need to invest in the $20 cord that's specific to the type of unit that you have. And it's going to plug in down here on the mini DIN. So remember that when you're buying this, there is a cord that's specific to your two-way radio unit that you're going to need to purchase. Now this unit is weatherproof. This unit comes with a belt clip. It comes with a an attachment that allows you to mount it to the handlebar. And what's going to happen is the cord from your two-way radio is going to go into the bottom and this guy is going to need to sit somewhere close by that you could reach it with your hand. And you're going to be using the push to talk. Remember it's just like a walkie-talkie. Two-way radios are walkie-talkies. You know to oversimplify them. So they can only either transmit or or listen at this at one time or the other. So it's going to be when you're not pushing the button, you're going to have your channel open, and you're going to be able to hear any of the crosstalk from your group. Then once you calibrate what channel you're going to be uh, transmitting on, you know, and you're going to do that through your two-way radio commute communicator. But when you push a button, then you go into transmit mode and you're no longer listening. It's one of the differences, you know, the Bluetooth communicators that live on helmets, they're typically full duplex, which means you can talk and listen at the same time, but they're done wirelessly over a far shorter range. Going to this two-way radio functionality gives you a dramatic spectrum of longer distance than the amount of other people to hop on. The other thing you need to know is right out of the box, I'm going to open it here in a second, there's a connector that plugs into the side here and it's going to plug in over here on this waterproof opening. And what that's going to allow you to do is if you're the type of person that wants to wear this unit in their tank bag or you want to put it on your belt or put it in your pocket, you can wire from the side here, you could wire this into this, this wired push button that you can snake all the way up near your, uh, near, your, near your left hand or your control hand. And what you can do is you can have that button so that it's just using your thumb then to activate the push to talk versus having to take your hand off the handlebar and actually push to talk. And when it's turned on, when you push to talk, the lights change color to let you know what you're doing. Also on the bottom of this, you're going to see we have two auxiliary ports, so you can plug in a GPS, a radar detector, music, whatever you'd like into these eighth inch microphone or really these standard stereo jacks down here. But the thing, I'm calling them a stereo jack, but the thing you need to know is that this unit transmits via Bluetooth, it pairs with your Cena or your Cardo or any Bluetooth unit that will do hands free, but it does it in mono. So for music, you're not go it's not going to be A2DP like some of the other stereo communicators are. This is only going to transmit in mono, which is fine for talking. It's fine for GPS commands. You're going to hear the same thing on both sides of your head or both ears. But remember that for music, stereo music, this isn't the best use of this tool. Also on the side here, you know, you're going to get 10 hours of standby time with this guy. It's a lithium polymer battery that you're going to charge via USB like a lot of the Bluetooth units now. And there's the connector for it right over here. And then you're also going to have the on-off button here at the top. And typically, if you're going to mount this guy on the handlebar, you'd have these four 
You can see the four screw holes here on the bottom. You'd mount it flat, somewhere easily reachable while you're riding on your console or on your unit if you're on a full dresser, or depending on your layout. But a lot of times what we find is that guys will snake that cord. For, they'll hide this somewhere on their bike or in their bag or on their person, and they will snake that cord up. So now that I've talked about this, remember, mono, you have to buy the extra thing, or you have to buy the extra cord based on the type of uh, the type of two-way two radio. And then it's, it's really, this is only going to work with two-way radio systems, and you have to already have that system. This is kind of the bridge. Let's go through the box here. I'll show you everything that you're going to get when you unbox this guy. So as I open it up, you're going to have your power cord, which is going to be USB. It's going to go to the wall. It's going to allow you to go to the computer. It's very simple. Don't need to spend a lot of time there. I'm going to pull my instruction manuals out. And here there's a really convenient card when you open it up. You know, I mentioned the five manufacturers that you're going to be able to work with. And the reason there's six plugs here shown is that you have a one pin or a two pin connector for Motorola. There's a difference there. But there's six different cables you can choose from to pair up with the type of, um, the, type of the connector that you're going to use or the type of radio that you're using. And also remember here too that there's firmware on this guy and the firmware is upgradable through the USB connecting to your computer. So as Cena makes improvements on the functionality and how this guy works, you're going to be able to update that as you go. Now, once I open it up, I'm going to start going through the bags here that would come in the box. This is the, this is the remote push to talk button. Notice it has a shock cord or a bungee on it, so you're going to want to put that on your handlebar somewhere, and then you would snake this guy down and link it up with the unit to the side. And this saves you having to have this guy exposed. So what you do is you can just have your button there, and there's your push to talk. It takes you from having to push that button every time to talk. Moving past this, it does come with an eighth inch connector, a stereo cable, if you want to link to the GPS, or the radar detector. Um, very simple if you can see that. It just gives you an extra cord. And then you get into some of the attachments. It's mounting brackets now. This is with screws. There's your base plate. And here's going to be your mounting bracket that's going to allow you to connect it to the handlebars. And then the last one that I have in here is going to be a belt clip. So if you want to put it on a bag, on a strap, or on your person, you know, you have the screws here that are included you would connect this to the bottom and then now you can mount it on your person or on your belt and you have this clip with a hook. So remember, this is a well thought out device from a manufacturer that we trust and I'm going to put my Anthony Revzilla endorsement on it. Cena has been making great products. People continue to have a great experience with them and they can continue to improve their game. You know, even going into the season, we're going to see the SMH5, which is going to be a more value priced um, option on the Bluetooth communicator to come in just slightly below the SMH10. Remember, to use this product, you're going to need to have a Bluetooth communicator of some, time, some type on your helmet. You're going to need to have a two-way radio system on your bike. And you're also going to need to purchase a $20 cord, which allows you to connect the unit to the specific two-way radio that you have. I can't say it enough. And remember, for music, it's mono sound, so it's not, music isn't the best use of this guy. But if you have any questions or comments, shoot us a line, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. We want to know your feedback on the SR10. So if you're seeing it for the first time, if you're just hearing about it, or if you're currently using it, leave us your feedback on our YouTube page. Like it, dislike the product, leave us a comment. Leave us a comment on Facebook. We want to know what you think of it. Also, you can subscribe to us at RevZilla TV on our YouTube channel. Keep up to dates. Uh, keep you up to date on the gear reviews as we roll them out. And as always, it's over 30 bucks. We'll ship for free, exchange for free, no restock fee as long as you send it back with everything that was included with it in brand new resellable condition. And as always, you can earn Teamzilla cash to be applied to your next order by continuing to shop with us. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown of the Cena SR10 two-way communication unit. It's really, in my opinion, this is a bridge available at RevZilla.com slash Cena. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.